I'm gonna take one of these acorn squash out, cut it in the post, it just won't fit in my pan. Hi, I'm Mariah Gladstone, founder of Indigia Kitchen, and this is Cook With Us with Well and Good. Today, we're making autumn arugula salad with acorn squash and a cranberry maple vinaigrette. This is a great way to use acorn squash for something other than a hot roasted dish. For the fastest way to make acorn squash, we're actually gonna be pan frying it, which is how we're gonna start this recipe. I'm gonna turn my pan onto about a medium high heat with a little bit of olive oil in it to help it cook. I've already pre-prepared my acorn squash by scooping out the seeds and slicing it into semicircles. These acorn squash will cook really fast. They only need about five minutes on each side once your oil is heated up. Once they've cooked for about five minutes, we're just going to flip them over with our spatula. When you flip them, the squash should be golden brown. If you add too much oil, it might splatter, so be careful about the amount of oil that you're adding. Once you've turned them, we're just gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're just gonna continue to let them cook for another five minutes on the opposite side. To test if your squash are done, you can take a fork and poke your squash and they should be nice and soft. If they're cooking too fast, you can always turn the temperature down so that the squash will cook without burning the outside. Once the squash are done, you can remove them from the heat and set them aside to cool. It's important that we let the squash cool before putting them on the salad because if you put hot squash onto a salad, it will wilt the leaves. Now that my squash is set aside to cool, I'm going to use the same pan to toast my pecans, except I'm going to turn the heat to a medium low. I'm going to make sure that the pecans are evenly along the bottom so that they're all able to toast. As we're toasting the pecans, we wanna make sure that we're stirring it a little bit so the pecans are getting golden brown but they're not burning. It also helps toasting the pecans if they're evenly coated in oil. As our pecans start to smell a little bit fragrant and you'll notice that they start getting soft, they are toasted. But for the last part of toasting them, we're actually going to candy the pecans in just a little bit of maple syrup. So we're just gonna drizzle a tiny bit of maple syrup over the pecans. At this heat, the maple syrup will crystallize and coat the pecans in a nice layer of maple sugar. The maple syrup will smell amazing as it's crystallizing. Perfect. We're gonna set the pecans aside for them to cool off and for that sugar to really form a nice coating on the outside of the pecans. For this part, it's time to make the vinaigrette. Vinaigrette is really easy. It can just be as simple as oil and vinegar. For this recipe, we're gonna add a little bit more flavor combinations, and we're going to be using maple vinegar. Maple vinegar is made from fermented maple sap, and then we're gonna be adding it to a little bit of cranberry juice and our olive oil. I also have a little bit of ginger here as well, just to add a little bit more flavor, um, and then we'll just be combining it with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is really easy. Everything goes into one bowl. <laughs> For the ginger, I just took a section of ginger root that was about an inch long, and I scraped the outside of it off and cut it into little pieces. I'm just gonna stir this all together. And this is going to be our cranberry maple vinaigrette. The next step is to simply mix up our salad. For this recipe, I have a half and half blend of spinach and arugula. We of course have our toasted pecans, our acorn squash, some dried cranberries, and some sliced avocado. To serve this up, we're just gonna combine a little bit of the arugula and spinach blend, and then serve the toppings alongside it. And then at the end, we're simply just gonna drizzle it with our vinaigrette. Your vinaigrette might separate, so feel free to give it a stir. Now while you can of course pan fry the acorn squash like I did to make a really easy, fast way of making squash, this recipe also goes really well with any leftover roasted acorn squash that you may have. Everything balances so well in this recipe. The way that the acorn squash's sweetness is really brought out by the toasted pecans and the maple sugar really complements the tanginess of the vinegar 
and the tartness of the cranberries in the recipe. I love this recipe and it's really simple. It's also great because you're getting a diversity of nutrients as well as a little bit of fat and protein like you would be getting from meat, but rather you're getting them from the pecans on the salad. Thanks for watching. The recipe can be found in the description below the video and don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good.